What you as a banker get for your money with the cover song reward is, I believe, a once in a lifetime experience. You get a completely unique version of any song or piece of music that you choose performed by a group that is different than any other group working today, made up of some of the finest musicians anywhere in the world. I don't think you'll find a deal like that anywhere else in the universe. Tell them about the cover song reward. The cover song reward is the chocolate center of the Kickstarter campaign. It's the theme that holds everything else together. I started Zubato Syndicate to perform arrangements of my own music, but cover songs have always had a fun place in our performances. The first cover we ever did was we played a show with Crocodile on April the 15th, and for that show I did a quick arrangement of Taxman by the Beatles. If we ever have another show on, on April the 15th, we've got that in the pocket. And I thought about performing cover songs as kind of a one-shot deal like that until Master of Puppets. Originally we were just going to do Master of Puppets for our release party, but it was so much fun and took so much time to prepare um, that we it just became part of our regular set. And so when it came time to record this record, uh, it was naturally one of the songs we wanted to do. The idea of offering a cover song reward for Kickstarter backers came uh, while I was working on this other arrangement of a cover song. At the same time, I had an idea for a third cover song, which was Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus, uh, where the verses are all very quiet and woodwindy, and then the chorus is you know, huge metal and brass, and uh, I still kind of want to do that. It occurred to me how fun it would be to do a whole set of cover songs for the band and to let the Kickstarter backers pick those songs. One person might choose a Beatles song, someone might choose a Chopin suite, someone might want to hear their wedding song, somebody on Facebook mentioned Slayer, which, yes. This idea of taking everybody's favorite songs, which would probably be a pretty ridiculous assortment of different kinds of things, and uh, turning them into Zubato material, um, was very powerful. For Zubato to perform one of these cover songs, it takes, to begin with, several hours of my time uh, transcribing and arranging the song for everyone in the band, then there's rehearsing. So it's a pretty serious time commitment for me and then for the band to get it just so. Financially, I should have priced this reward much higher and initially I thought it should be a you know, very upper tier reward. And I thought about making it a stretch goal and offering it in the middle of the campaign and all these different kinds of, of things that are good for Kickstarter marketing. But I kept coming back to this idea of how amazing it would be if we had a bunch of these to do, if we had a whole set of songs. So I ended up offering the cover song reward for an amount that is probably lower than it should be, but hopefully will encourage more people to respond. So I settled on $200, which is right in the middle of our reward tier system, um, but I limited them to 15, uh, which seemed like a good number at the time, but I have no idea what I'm going to do if 15 people sign up for them.